My hair looks super red in this light. Whoa. Hello, my name is Allie and this is my first video. Every time I think my first video, my head always goes to that Mary-Kate and Ashley thing. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Hashtag 90s problems. Anyway, I am excited to be making this video for you guys. There's a popular YouTube tag called my, what's it called? There's a popular YouTube tag called what's in my bag. This is the worst. I wanted to do a version of that for you guys called uh, what's in my audition bag. And so I'm going to show you a little bit of what I bring with me to auditions just to kind of be prepared and have everything that I might need in that audition setting. And a lot of times I end up bringing more than I need um, just because I want to be prepared because you never know what could happen. It might be kind of a lot, but I am going to show you today what's in my audition bag. All right. First of all, let's zip the bag. Is that good? Because then I can be unzipping it when we start. Okay. Okay, so first let's start with the bag. This is the bag that I usually bring to auditions. It kind of has some wear and tear. It's well loved, but it, um, it gets the job done, so I'm a fan. Anyway, it came from somewhere. I don't know. I think Borders are somewhere, but Borders don't exist anymore. Okay, the brand says Paper Chase. Anyway, this is my bag. First things first is my audition book. In the um, audition statement, they'll usually give you an idea of what to prepare song-wise. If it's a musical audition, it may not be. But if it is a musical audition, this is the book that I bring because it has all of my songs in it. Um, not just the song that I'm planning on singing on that day because they may ask you for some other style, so it's a good idea to have lots of variety in your music cuts that you have in your audition book. Honestly, audition books are kind of complicated. Well, I mean, they can be, but I would love to maybe do a video on that. If that's something you want, please let me know in the comments and I can talk about what music I put in my book. So also in the book, oh, there's a CD. If they don't have a pianist, it's a good idea to have a CD just in case. Usually they'll say whether or not they do, but it's good to be prepared with both anyway. So this is the book and it's got sheet music in it and I have it um, tabbed off and labeled so that it's easy for the pianist to see. This I always have as well. This holds my headshots and my resumes. So, that's my face. My hair was shorter then. I actually need new headshots. Anyway, my headshot and my resume. We could do a video on headshots and resumes too. That might be fun. Look at the camera, not the viewfinder, the camera. Most of the time in the audition website, they'll tell you what to prepare. Sometimes it might be a cold read, and that means that the auditioner wants to see you read material um, that you've never seen before. But sometimes they might uh, give you a little bit of a heads up and they'll post a scene online that's called sides, audition sides are the scenes that you're reading. If the website asks you to prepare certain material, they'll usually put it um, right there on a link and it's usually a PDF or something like that that has the audition sides on it. So if it does, then I'll print it off and bring it with me. And usually these don't have to be memorized, but it's a good idea to, I don't know, be familiar with it. Also, you may prepare a monologue, but that's a whole different story. I also am really interested in costume design and technical theater stuff. So I'll put in a technical resume, even if it's for an acting audition, just because it's good to have it. If you're well-rounded and that's something that you can do. So this is for costume design, props, stage management, front of house, etc. You really are bringing things that you may never need, but it's just a good idea to have extra stuff with you because you never know. Someone might say, hey, do you do anything else other than acting? And you can say, well, yes, I have a resume right here of all of my costume design experience or whatever it is that you do. So there's that. This is my planner. It's just an agenda with a you know weekly schedule and stuff in it, but I bring it because uh, sometimes they want to know like what your conflicts are. If you do um, your planner and your stuff in your phone on an app, that's perfect too, but I just usually have it on a book like this because a lot of times they'll have it posted when the dates of the show are, when the dates of rehearsals are, or maybe not a full rehearsal schedule, but at least when it's gonna start. So you might wanna know like when you're free. So bring a planner or your phone, bring water, Sometimes I like get super ambitious and I bring two because I'm afraid that there may not be a water fountain at the venue and I want to be prepared with lots of water. So yeah, 
water. I have this as well, and it's just got some makeup and some stuff in it. I don't bring a ton of makeup with me, but I bring just enough in case I need a touch up or something. I bring a hairbrush. This is a foundation, but I also like that it has a mirror inside of it so I can use it for whatever I need a mirror for. I bring a mascara. This is a lip balm. This is also a lip balm and it's my favorite thing in the whole world. It's Burt's Bees Tinted. This is my best friend. Who? It feels like you're basically wearing chapstick, but it's got a little bit of color in it, which is great. So I bring it just for touch-ups, and I usually don't end up bringing like my full lipstick and all of that stuff. I'll just bring this. A little baby brush, because um, this is my best friend in the whole world. I said that about the other thing. I mean, we can all be friends. Um, this is from Ben Nye. <laughs> And it's just face powder. I think, I mean, a lot of things make translucent face powder, but this came in like a stage makeup kit, so I just keep it with me. It just helps to like set everything. And sometimes if I get to the place and I'm feeling like shiny or whatever, I'll just, I don't know. And it's small, so I bring it with me. I bring tissues. And this thing, it's a container that was used for like uh, Q-tips. But I took the Q-tips out and I put bobby pins and hair ties in it. Just because you, it's always a good idea to have some extra stuff. I don't know. When in doubt, I just bring extra stuff. This is a good idea because um, if you need to pull your hair back for a dance call or something. Oh, also, I didn't do this, but if it is a dance call, just bring your dance clothes. Oh, okay. I bring shoes. You think that's silly? I'm sure you're already wearing shoes. Yes, I am. These are the shoes, heels that I wear. Well, I don't always wear heels to an audition, but when I do, I wear these. That sounded like that guy was the thing. It's a meme, I don't know. Sometimes I get there and I decide that I don't wanna wear heels after all. If people there are more casual than I am, then like I wanna dress down. Or if I just get sick of walking in heels, I will bring my other shoes and I like them because they're like almost the same color so they still go with the outfit that I wear or after the auditions over and I'm sick of wearing heels all day I will just change into these for the drive home we can do a video if you want about what you wear to an audition I kind of have a dress that I always wear just because it's a good standby for me it, I feel like it's flattering and it's a color that looks good on me I just always wear that same dress to every audition because then I don't have to think about what I'm gonna wear. Let me know in the comments if that's a video that you would like for me to make. When you get there, sometimes there's like forms and things for you to fill out, so I just bring an assortment of writing utensils. They usually have stuff there, but sometimes there's not enough to go around. I don't know, it's always a good idea just to have your own, because why not? The other thing about bringing this is I have like scrap paper in the back or like extra sheets. Um, and if there's like notes or something you need to remember, you can write it down. Again, this might be kind of the thing where a lot of people just write stuff down on their phones. And that's true. I just always like to have stuff. This may or may not be necessary, but you could bring a book. Uh, right now I'm reading Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns by Mindy Kaling. Which is very good, by the way. I'm not done. I need to finish it. I'm slacking so hard. Sometimes I bring a book. I don't know. I feel like... Sometimes I get there and I'm like too nervous to concentrate on anything except for just to sit there and try to breathe. I mean, if you get there and maybe you know you have a really long wait, maybe you want to be distracted and keep your mind off of it and just kind of be in another place for a while before you have to do the audition. So it's up to you. A book, maybe. So I think, yep, that is it. I hope you like this video. I don't know, it's my first one. It may be a little rough. It's a learning experience for us all, but I was glad to make it. I'm sure editing is gonna be good times because half the time I was like this to the camera. If you have any questions about anything in my bag that I showed you, or if you want to learn more about the auditioning process, um, please let me know. If this is something that you're interested in and you like learning about theater things, or maybe how to prepare for um, a show or for rehearsal or something, let me know in the comments and I would love to make videos about that. If you have a question about something, please let me know as well and maybe I could do a QA. and a If you're interested in following me on social media and stuff, that information will also be in the comments below. Um, so I hope that you like this video. Please, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you liked it, tell your friends and yeah. 
you again for watching. I'm Allie, and I hope that you will watch again next week. I'm going to post new videos every Thursday. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh.